Okay, in this video, you're going to learn how to use the LCD method to clear decimal out of equations. What that's going to allow us to do is notice we have an equation right here. And what we're going to be able to do is clear all of these ugly decimal numbers out of the equation so we'll have nice whole numbers to work with. So this 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and 0 0.4, we can clear those right out of the equation and work with nice whole numbers. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use these three steps, these three simple steps, to clear the decimals out of this equation. So the first thing to do is to figure out how many decimal places we need to clear. The second thing is then we're going to multiply by 10, 100, or 1,000. We'll multiply by 10 if we just need to clear out one decimal place, 100 if we need to clear out two decimal places, 1,000, three, and however many decimal places you need to clear out. You just multiply by the correct power of 10, and they'll go away. And then once we've cleared all the decimals out of the equation, then we'll solve this equation just like we've solved all sorts of equations before this. Okay, let's take a look at an example here so you can see how this works. So I'm looking at my example here. I have a lot of nasty decimal numbers in this thing, and I need to clear those things out of here. So I would say, okay, step one, how many decimal places are there are needed to be cleared? Well, let's take a look at each of these terms. The first term here Here's my whole term, and in that term, there's just one decimal place, this 0.5. So that's one decimal place needs to get cleared out of that term. My next term here is this 0 0.01, and again, just one decimal place there. Finally, on the right side, my, my third term that I have in this equation, I just have this 0.4. So in all of those terms, I only have one decimal place to clear. So since I only have one decimal place to clear, I am going to multiply this equation by 10. If I had two decimal places to clear, I'd multiply by 100, so on and so forth. But here, I just need to multiply by 10. So let's take a look. Remember, in an equation, I'm allowed to multiply both sides of the equation by any number I want to. So in this case, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 10. So left side, I'm going to multiply by 10. And right side, I'm going to multiply by 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So 10 times my first term, all that's going to do, if I take 10 times 0.5, all 10 times 0.5 is going to give me, it's just going to move that decimal place one to the right, so I would be left with then instead of 0.5, 5 times 2x minus 3. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and multiply 10 times my second term. 10 times uh, negative 0 0.01, again, moving the decimal place 1 to the right, so that's just going to be minus 1 then. On the right side, I'm going to multiply by 10, and I just have one thing to multiply by in this term, which is that point, uh, 0 0.4, and so when I multiply 10 times 0 0.4, it's just going to give me 4. Notice, I didn't have to multiply in these terms 10 times everything. So when I took over here on the right, for example, 10 times this 0.4, this big term here, I only multiplied 10 times the 0.4. Remember, when a bunch of things are getting multiplied together, for example, here, I'll just give you another little example. Let's say I was taking 2, and I was multiplying that 3 times 5, right? Well, when I go to multiply 2 times this 3 times 5, I'm not going to multiply the 2 times both of these factors. I only have to multiply this 2 times one of those factors. So I would say 2 times 3 is 6, and then 6 times 5 is 30. So that's what it looks like with whole numbers. Same thing up here. So when I took 10 times this whole term when I was multiplying up here, I only have to multiply 10 by one of those factors. I have two factors there. I have this 0.4. And then I have this other giant factor here, this 6 plus 2x. So I only need to multiply 10 times one of those. Well, it's easiest if I multiply 10 times that 0.4 to clear the decimal out. So back to our problem at hand. Now I've cleared all the decimals out of the problem here. There aren't any more decimals left in my problem. So I would just solve this problem like I would any other equation. So I would distribute the 5 on the left. So 5 times 2x is 10x. And then 5 times negative 3 minus 15 minus 1. And then on the right side, distribute the 4, which will give me 24 plus 8x. Okay. Distributing, now I'm combining like terms on the left side here. 
So that's going to be 10x minus 16. On the right side, I'll just rewrite that. Okay, now I've got variable terms on both sides. I'll move the smaller one. I'll get rid of this 8x over here. So I minus 8x minus 8x. Okay, let's see what we have left now. So I'm going to have 2x minus 16 equals 24. Add 16. Okay, uh, I'm going to come around over here to finish up. Let's see, we'll go right up over here to finish. So let's see, on the left side, then I'll have 2x. And on the right side, 24 plus 16 is going to give me 40. Final step, divide by 2. By 2. And I get that x is equal to 20. Okay. So you can see that once I cleared the decimals out of this equation, everything goes right back to the normal equation that we know how to solve. And you can clear any of the decimals out of an equation just by multiplying by the appropriate power of 10. Okay, so we learn math by doing. So go ahead and pause your video player now and solve this problem I have here. Go ahead and use the steps I've shown you to clear the decimals out of this equation and solve it. And when you get done solving it, then go ahead and hit play and you can watch me work through this problem and see how you did. Let's take a look. Step one, how many decimal places need to be cleared here? Well, it looks like we have one decimal place in this term, one decimal place in that term. So all we have to do is clear one decimal place, which means we're going to need to multiply by 10. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by 10. Left side by 10. Right side by 10. Okay. So going through and multiplying the left side by 10, I have two terms here. So I'm going to first take 10 times the x to give me 10x. And then I'm going to multiply by the second term here, which is the 0.3. So I'm going to take 10 times that 0.3. That's just actually going to give me 3. So I have minus 3. And then times x minus 4. On the right side, I just have one term. So the 10 times the uh, 0.5 there, which is then going to give me 5x. Okay, all of the decimals now are cleared out of this equation. Now I'm going to solve this equation as I would any other equation with whole numbers. So I'd start by simplifying. I would start to distribute the negative 3. So then I'd have 10x minus 3x plus 12 equals 5x. Okay, still simplifying the left side. Looks like I have some like terms here, the 10x and the negative 3x. So 10x and negative 3x would give me 7x plus 12 equals 5x. Okay, now I have variable terms on both sides of my equations. So I'll move that smaller or get rid of that smaller variable term, which is this 5x. So minus 5x. Minus 5x. Let's take a look now. So I have 2x plus 12 equals 0. Make sure it's important that we write a 0 over there. Okay, I'll come over here. Let's see. So I'm trying to get this x all alone on the left side, so that means I need to get rid of the addition of 12 here. So I'd subtract 12 from both sides. Okay, we'll come over here to finish up. So let's see, on the left side of the equation, then I would have 2x. And on the right side of the equation, I would have 0 minus 12 is just going to give me a negative 12. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I get a solution of x equals negative 6.